Checkpoints. This is a subject we've been looking at a great deal on Checkpoint uh, over the past month or so, and it's not only us who've been looking at it. The Minister for Workplace Relations has today met with the CEO of Freightways. This is the government begins to look in greater depth itself at the position of so-called independent contractors. Now, over the past month, Checkpoint has highlighted the position of owner-operator courier drivers who work for employers like Freightways and New Zealand Post, carrying the costs of purchasing and operating their vehicles without the protection of paid sick leave and annual holidays, and in some cases after costs for less than the minimum wage, which doesn't apply to contractors, of course. This is a big picture story, as well as a very particular story about the drivers themselves. We've revealed court action is pending, with First Union and ProDrive preparing a case to have the drivers reclassified as employees with greater protections. Freightways, whose biggest and most well-known brand is New Zealand Couriers, told us they were meeting with the Minister, and we caught up with Ian Lees Galloway at Auckland Airport uh, shortly after the meeting, which he told us about. Um, yeah, it was, it was a, the usual kind of meeting that a minister has with a business. They gave me a, a bit of an outline of their history and, and how the contracting model developed uh, in their business. Obviously, they, they wanted to tell me the benefits of the contracting model and how it's working well for them and, and for the people who contract with them. But at the same time, you know, I expressed the concerns that have been voiced with me about uh, contractors not having the protection of the Employment Relations Act, or the potential for people to be able to end up working for less than the minimum wage once costs are taking out um, and signalling to them that it is an area that I want to do some work on and of course that I want to work with them and make sure they're engaged with that work when it starts. It's a hell of a good model for companies like Freightways for, for all the people who employ independent contractors in the transport business because the independent contractors assume a great many of the costs including buying their own vehicle, having the signage put on the vehicle, yeah. buying their own uniform, buying their own scanner if they're in the career business. Yeah. How do we protect people to make sure that this isn't a master-servant relationship in yeah. which they are effectively being exploited, particularly when this is disproportionately likely to be a new immigrant workforce? Yeah, so that's exactly the question that we want to ask uh, and, and, and carry out some really rigorous work around that. Um, what I said to Freightways today is I have not made any determinations about what the outcome of that work might look like, uh, but what we need to do is sit down with everybody. We're a government that believes in talking to business, talking to workers, talking to everybody who's impacted by the decisions that we're making to co-design what new policy might look like and that yeah the commitment I made to Freightways today is they need to be engaged in that work but also that we do think it needs to be examined they they I think quite strongly expressed a view that they're quite happy with the status quo, they, they, they wouldn't like to see any change in this area, they're nervous about what change might mean, um, but you know, I, I think we've heard enough stories about people who are vulnerable in these kinds of relationships that it's absolutely incumbent on government to take a look at this and make sure that contracting and the rise of things like the gig economy are working well in New Zealand and, the, and that workers are benefiting from those. It's a model that's working well for Freightways. We now have uh, a whole lot of information that, that details what drivers are earning in terms of their revenue coming in, uh, what their costs are, uh, running vehicles, depreciation, all of that kind of stuff, and what is left over. And many of them are, and we have the paperwork, earning less than the minimum wage mm. once costs are paid. Mm. Is that a satisfactory situation? It's not satisfactory to me that people are working essentially for less than the minimum wage. Uh, I put that to Freightways. They said that um, they reckon the average contractor gets an income of around 96000 and that once their costs are taken out, um, that that would be around the 70000 mark. Um, I asked them how many hours a day you'd need to work to generate that. They said, you know, sort of 10 to 12 hours a day. Now, that's that's their view. Um, you've did, seen... Did, did, did they provide you with any paperwork? So they're just telling you this stuff. I mean, did they sit you down and say... Minister, here's payroll, here's revenue, here's cost. Did they show you that stuff or did they just say those words? Today they just told me those things. Uh, and as I say, we need to do a more rigorous analysis of... Uh, of not just what Freightways is doing, because this isn't just about Freightways, it's not just about couriers either, it's about contracting relationships and, and, and the new types of relationships that are developing. Um, so yeah, we, we need to do some more rigorous analysis, but yeah, I gave them the opportunity to tell me what their view was on it, that was the view that they gave me. So where to now? Well, as I say, where to now is, yeah, we need to do some proper work around this. Um, I have a very full agenda across workplace relations and immigration, and ACC for that matter. Um, so we need to sequence the, the policy work that we have committed to, and we have uh, set aside some time in the first half of next year to really get stuck into this stuff and to sit down, you know, 
with the employers, with the businesses, with the courier drivers, with the unions who have expressed concerns about this as well. Now this is an area where I think, I think change is coming anyway. One of the conversations that we had today was around a lot more of the packages that they're delivering are going to residential areas because you know people are buying things online um, and that's generating more work for the courier drivers but it's not necessarily the most lucrative work. And so they are having to examine their business model in the context of that change that has developed. I think we need to examine the business model and make sure that it's not just working well uh, for the businesses, it's working well for contractors too and that it's working well for New Zealand as a whole. Ian Lees Galloway at Auckland Airport late this morning.